if the flags around our office don't give it away, we're patriots around here. When we got reached out to, to help a disabled veteran and to build them a patio and a space where they can get outside and enjoy uh, being out in nature, we jumped at the opportunity and here's a video showing the process. Thank you for uh, having us out here and thank you for even taking the time to talk with us today. So tell me, what is T to T or Tunnel to Towers? Tell me about the organization. The Tunnels to Tower Foundation was started by Frank Silla after 9-11. Stephen Silla was a fireman in the New York City Fire Department. He wasn't yeah. even scheduled to work that day. After he heard about what was transpiring in the city, he took his truck, he left his brothers and headed into Manhattan. All of the bridges and tunnels were closed. Stephen got all of his equipment from his firehouse. He abandoned his vehicle at the beginning of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and ran through the tunnel to get to the towers to assist his brother fireman. Stephen was never seen again after that. He was killed along with hundreds of other first responders on that faithful day. So that's kind of where the Tunnel to Towers program came from, right? Is it kind of like that event inspired? Yes, that event inspired Frank to begin the foundation, which began as the Silla Foundation and has uh, morphed into the Tunnels to Tower Foundation. Frank has really gone out of his way to assist veterans. He believes that they are our number one priority, from paying off mortgages to helping critically injured veterans from either building them a smart home like they're building for Logan Brokaw here or just helping out the wives in any way financially, helping their children get through school, yeah. college, anything that can be done, Frank yeah. will go and help that family. So this is a space that we're building right now at a Harbin home in Toano. This is actually gonna be a patio by the end of the day. It's a really, really cool spot. But this is part of a Belgard Pave to Good program. And I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about that and talk a little bit about what Belgard is doing and how they are helping this home and this Tunnel to Towers program. So we've got Cole right here. Hey Cole. Hey, thanks for being you? here with me. So yeah, tell us a little bit me. about the Pave to Good. So Paves the Good is our way of trying to connect with the community and work with our contractors in the uh, mid-Atlantic market. All this material that we see lined up behind us right here, you guys just gave, right? Yep, uh, we love it. I mean, we, we wanna be a part of the community and we wanna help you guys uh, yeah. give back as well. Yeah. And so that's why we launched this program. So how did you get connected with Tunnels to Towers? How did that happen? Uh, just a random phone call on like yeah. a Tuesday. Hey, need you to go do this and take care of it because I don't have time. And, and not I just kind of like take care of it, take care of it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, it is happening in two weeks. A lot of phone calls back and forth, but I think we made it happen. We did make it happen. Design is uh, just gonna be a really cool space Overall, it's going to be a you know an addition to the home because this is for a disabled veteran. There's wheelchairs that have to come in and out of the space, so we're watching our grade, we're watching our transitions, we're making sure that our pavers are actually up at the threshold, so that there's as little of a bump with a wheelchair as possible. Um, and we've also got smooth pavers, so we're using the pavers that have a little bit smoother with less lip on them, so that there's kind of less bump when you're in the wheelchair. So a lot of materials even that we're using from Belgard have that kind of in mind that this is a, a disabled home, you know, that the access is gonna be great for it. So the Pave to Good started because of the Hardscape Heroes. Um, and how, how many projects have you guys done with the Pave to Good? How is this, are we in its infancy still? This, yes, this okay. is number two. This is awesome. Uh, we All did right. one maybe a couple of weeks ago. Um, very small patio, but it was for a great foundation. Um, everything's all done and they're very happy and pleased with it. If somebody else who is a Belgard fan, how would they get involved in the Pave to Good and how would they give back to their community through this program? Uh, definitely by reaching out to your you know, your local sales rep. You can go to apgmidatlantic.com. Okay. Uh, under programs, there'll be a submission form called Paves the Good. Okay, so Danny, can you drop a link in that? I can't wait to show you guys what this patty looks like with all this material you guys donated. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thanks for being a part yeah. of it. Now that we've heard from the Mid-Atlantic sales rep, let's go see if we can find Brad Harbin and talk to him about this house that they've built. I am actually looking for him. <laughs> see where he went. Oh, there he is. 
So we're gonna go in this house and we're just gonna check out some of the features that are inside of this house because this is 100% wheelchair accessible house, isn't it? Yes, it is. This door will be open by a push of a button. The door will open. Right. Close itself. That's really cool. Uh, most everything will be uh, operated by a smartphone. Yep. So, so he can just he some, can just kind of roll up here, hit buttons, open everything up. It's all like a the main door, technology. this door, and the garage door. In the kitchen, we have it's a lift, but it actually lowers for cooking okay. to be able to get to a, you know so a height. This stove has a smart it's ADA. Feature. ADA. Of course, we did all the common things that you see with lower light switches. All three are doors. Okay. Main areas we have a five foot turn space like this area, and then the bathroom. Oh, yeah. this shower and I'm, this is nice and i'm noticing no threshold or anything no threshold and put a little bump to keep the water out okay and then there'll be a teak bench that'll go across the back side there yeah. another unique thing that we don't do too often is we have a fire system with sprinkler mm -hmm. uh, okay a lot of things will be uh operated they're going to add some smart switches a lot of things will be able to be operated on his on his phone okay uh, to control that lights and things like that Light. Well, they reached out to us, and uh, of course, you know, when the opportunity came, we jumped on it. Right. We did a lot of things for different uh, charities. And, right, different you know, organizations. <clears throat> big fans of the you know, military and, yeah, and, and first responders. And different. Well, yeah. Brad, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Really awesome spot. So there's going to be a concrete, you can kind of see the walkway going that way. Right outside of this door, right here, there is going to be the patio. So you can kind of see this walkway is going to go, and it's going to slope a little bit faster because the grade does fall off, so we want to make sure that water can get out. But there's also, you see this door here, there's also another door over here, but this is kind of see where we framed out this space right here, so you can see this is kind of like their breakfast nook, so the patio is kind of framed off of right this, right here. When they're at the sink, they can look right out. So a lot of times when I'm putting these patios in, I'm trying to make sure that the view from inside is just as good as the view outside. He's also gonna have a just a, a place right here to roll out. And again, this is five foot wide right here. So this is like one of those transition areas that Brad was just telling us about. So five foot wide, he can make his turn and get over right into the fire pit area really easily. And this is what we call an open grade construction. So this is 57. You'll notice there's no fines in this gravel. This is just a clean gravel. And what's really nice about this is it doesn't hold moisture. It's almost packed as immediately as soon as we put it down. And then the eights that they're getting ready to dump on the fabric right there, those eights will be screeded over top of this and then our pavers will lay right on top of the 57s. And then we're able to lay pavers. So we're not too much longer before we lay pavers. I'm gonna go grab the guys lunch and then we're gonna get some pavers laid and we're gonna see how this project turns out. I'm over here just spray painting lines. I'm kind of doing all this. And Danny was flying the drone above. And I see him coming out of the woods right now. Because I think the dude crashed it. <laughs> That's the walk of shame right there. <laughs> Any veteran or first responder that is in need of assistance that we can provide from the foundation, all they need to do is go onto our website and they can actually fill out an application and then someone will, from the organization will contact them. What if somebody wanted to 
um, that's not a veteran want to support the organization, where should they go for that? Absolutely, it's going to be the same website. They can go on there okay. and they can donate. They can pledge money on a monthly basis. They can make a donation. Every dollar helps, and 95 cents out of every dollar goes directly to helping right. veterans, <laughs> their families. That's the part I like the most because I know, like, if you look at some organizations, you you look at their you know because it's all public record you can see where their money's going and there's some that are very common that a lot of people know about that only like 50 cents yes. on a dollar actually goes yes. to the organization tell me a little bit about logan um what's his background um what's his situation and how have you guys come alongside him and helped him logan is uh, logan was injured in a training accident he is a uh, paraplegic he is in a chair hmm. he contacted uh, the Tunnels of the Tower Foundation. Working with him, Logan came out here looking for land. He picked out this plot of land yeah. and they are building him this smart home specially for him. Everything right. in here is accessible on a wheelchair. So yeah. there are, there's no thresholds coming in and out of the doors. Right. The shower is a roll-in type. Yeah. All of the areas where Logan would need to go, they either have lowered cabinets specifically designed for somebody that is in a chair. Yeah. And the ability to turn around, the chair can turn around in his bathroom, in the kitchen, in all of the areas. Right. Listen, we appreciate everything that you have done here. I know that you have added unbelievable things to this project from this building, this, this beautiful patio for them, to landscaping, to lighting that's included in here that you can't even see yet. Yeah. Um, you know, it's my hat off to, to you also, to you and your crews for what you are bringing to the table. When you hear that there's a need and there's somebody who you can actually make an impact in, right? Why wouldn't people rush to that? Right. It, it, like a, we were talking about before, in today's world, there's so much negativity. Yeah. Every time you turn on the, the television, it's, you just, it's horrible. And people, especially young people, they just look at it and they think there's no good going on today. Yeah. But there really is good there going really on today, and this is a on. perfect example of some of the good yeah. that's going on today. When you look at this patio, and I, the Harbins I know have been doing this kind of stuff, but when you look at this patio in particular, you know, Old Castle, which is Belgar, donated all the pavers for this. Since recording this video, more people have just come alongside and have supported this veteran. None of them even meeting him, none of them looking for donation receipts, just everyone just happy to help proud to support a veteran who was willing to fight for the freedoms that we have. Uh, so I just want to go through and I just want to call everybody out and what they did and and what they were able to give to this project. So first we have Sean Cameron Trucking. He willingly donated all the freight to get all the materials to the site. Next we have Mercury Mulch. Uh, Ryan donated all the gravel and everything that went under our pavers, which make the base stable and give it the support. Uh, next, we have Technoseal. They donated the polymeric sand that goes in the joints and the edge restraints for around the patio. Belgard donated all of the pavers for this project. Everything that you see on the site, they donated all those pavers. Brilliance LED, I reached out to them and they gave us cap lights, which weren't in the original design, but they gave us cap lights to go underneath of the caps so that it lights it up so that it just has a more homey feel. Um, Smith Turf and Irrigation, they donated a transformer and wires to go underneath the caps so that those lights that we have are wired in and a transformer so that uh, he can control everything right from his smartphone so he can turn it off and on. Um, and then Bennett's Creek gave us a credit on all the plants that we're gonna be putting on site and they donated a bunch of plants for this property. And then finally, um, Lawn Ventures donated all the mulch that we need to make this project happen. So this is just, I mean, it's an extensive list of people. All of them were proud and happy to support and to uh, come alongside this veteran and give him a home that's special. And most of all, Wayne Harbin Builders obviously built this house and they, as you heard Thomas say, have been the most supportive and uh, just come alongside and have been very willing to support this veteran. So thank you guys for watching. There is a part two coming. I know Danny probably doesn't want me to spoil that, but there's a part two coming um, where we're showing the, the house being dedicated to this veteran. So thank you so much for following. As always, get, get outside, outside my, my friends. friends.